Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Daniel is a teenager, who moves from New Jersey to Los Angeles, after his mother, Lucille, gets a new job. A faucet at their new apartment breaks, Daniel goes to see the maintenance man, Mr. Miyagi, who is attempting to catch a fly with chopsticks. He assures him he will get to it in due time. A new friend invites Daniel to a beach party, where he sees a Lee Mills. Johnny Lawrence and his friends, Tommy and Bobby Brown, crash the party. Johnny argues with Ali, who is his ex-girlfriend. He destroys her stereo, and Daniel stands up to him. Johnny knows martial arts, and he beats up Daniel, giving him a black eye. He attempts to hide the eye injury from Lucille by wearing sunglasses to school, when this fails, he lies and tells her that he fell off his bicycle. Daniel receives further humiliation during the soccer tryouts at his new school, when Bobby Slides tackles Daniel, prompts Daniel to tackle him, and lands a punch to his face, which gets him expelled from the field. Although Daniel has some basic knowledge of martial arts because of self-defense classes, he decides he needs a refresher. While he exercises, Miyagi comes in to fix the sink. He also inquires how Daniel could fall off a bicycle, without sustaining any injuries to his arm. When Daniel meets Lucille for lunch, he notices a karate school, across the street from the restaurant, and decides to check it out. The dojo sensei, an ex-Special Forces Vietnam veteran, John Kreese, runs the dojo like a boot camp, instilling his students with a draconian philosophy, the way of the fist, which emphasizes ruthlessness, ferocity, and no mercy. When he sees Johnny, he leaves. While riding home that night on his bike, Johnny and his friends sideswipe Daniel on their motorbikes, causing him to fall down a hill. Daniel is mildly injured, but more scared and humiliated. Arriving back at home, Lucille sees him tossing his wrecked bike in a dumpster. Daniel, angry at how his life has been disrupted by the move, tells his mother he wants to move back to New Jersey. As they walk away, Miyagi emerges from his workshop, having heard their conversation. The next day, Daniel finds his bike out of the dumpster, and repaired. He goes to Miyagi's workshop, and finds out that Miyagi had repaired it for him. Ali and Daniel both decorate the school gymnasium for an upcoming Halloween dance. Daniel, however, chooses not to attend, when Miyagi asks him why, Daniel says he doesn't have a costume. Miyagi also senses that Daniel lacks confidence in himself, and fashions a costume for Daniel. Daniel arrives at the school and meets with Ali, dancing briefly with her. A prankster at the dance smashes a raw egg on Daniel's head, and he goes to the bathroom to clean up. Johnny is in one of the stalls, dressed like a skeleton, and rolling marijuana joints. Daniel rigs a prank, dangling a hose over Johnny, and turning on the water. Johnny rushes out of the bathroom after Daniel. Ali briefly stalls them by tripping Johnny, and spilling all the other Cobra Kais to the floor. Daniel rushes out of the school, and nearly makes it over the fence at his home, when the Kais catch him and begin to beat him. Yelling about how enemies deserve no mercy, Johnny winds up for a brutal kick, and misses when Miyagi appears and pushes Daniel out of the way. Miyagi easily defeats Kais. Leaving them all on the ground, and writhing in pain, Miyagi takes Daniel to his workshop and tends to him. Daniel is amazed by Miyagi's skills in karate, and requests Miyagi to teach him. Miyagi mentions that the Kais problem is not their own doing, but must be their teachers. Miyagi suggests that Daniel talk to their teacher. Daniel refuses, thinking he'll be beaten again. Miyagi is reluctant to get involved, but agrees to teach Daniel, and also agrees to go with him to Cobra Kai, and speak with Kreese. At the Cobra Kai dojo the next day, Daniel and Miyagi watch as Kreese lectures his students, that an opponent is also the enemy, and deserves no mercy, Kreese interrupts his class and confronts the visitors. Kreese scornfully dismisses Miyagi's request, that his students leave Daniel alone, and orders Daniel to fight Johnny immediately. Miyagi wants the odds to be more even for Daniel, and suggests that Daniel and the Kais match up at the All-Valley Karate Tournament, a few weeks from then. Kreese likes the challenge, and agrees. Kreese agrees to stop his students from messing with Daniel, but says if Daniel chickened out then, the harassment will continue, which will then include Miyagi. Miyagi takes Daniel to his home to begin his training. Out in front of the house, are a dozen classic American cars. Miyagi tells Daniel that he will instruct him, and that his student will not question his method. When Daniel agrees, Miyagi hands Daniel a sponge, and orders him to wash and wax all the cars. Miyagi's instructions are very specific, Daniel will only use the sponge and waxing cloths, by moving his hands and arms in wide circles. He will also breathe deeply, in through his nose, and out through his mouth. In the weeks that follow, Miyagi gives Daniel further chores to complete, with similar instructions on technique, sanding a walkway that leads around Miyagi's backyard. 
staining the fence that surrounds his property, and painting his house. With each new chore, Daniel's frustration grows at the seeming lack of any karate training, and Miyagi's minimal praise of his work. One night, after finishing the painting of Miyagi's house, Daniel expresses his frustration to his teacher. Miyagi tells Daniel to show him how he washed and polished the cars. When Daniel tells him his shoulder aches too much, Miyagi uses acupressure to relieve the tension, and orders Daniel to show him the motions he'd been using to do the chores. Daniel quickly realizes that the chores were also practice of defensive moves, exercises to build muscle tone, reflexes, and proper breathing techniques. After a few minutes of practice, Miyagi suddenly throws several punches and kicks at Daniel, all of which Daniel blocks easily. Miyagi also shows Daniel how to bow to his opponent, making sure Daniel looks his opponent in the eye, both for defense, and to convey respect. Daniel goes on his first official date with Ali. When he arrives at Ali's house, driven by Lucille, he finds that her parents are quite wealthy, and live in Beverly Hills. Daniel is incredibly nervous and embarrassed, especially when Lucille's car won't start, and they have to push start it. However, the date with Ali is enjoyable, and his embarrassment melts. In the weeks that follow, Miyagi has Daniel work on his defensive techniques, and learn physical balance, by standing on the beach, and trying to stay upright against the large strong waves of the ocean. When Daniel comes out of the water, he sees Miyagi standing on a post down the beach. Miyagi is practicing a move, where he lifts his arms and one leg, but kicks with the other. When Daniel asks him what the move is, Miyagi calls it, the crane technique, saying that if it's performed properly, an opponent will have no defense. Ali asks Daniel to meet her for another date. Daniel goes to Ali's parents' country club, where he sees Ali dancing with Johnny. When Johnny spots Daniel, he forces Ali to kiss him. Daniel, ashamed, goes to leave and runs into a waiter, who spills a tray of food on him, drawing laughter from everyone who sees the accident. Ali, furious, punches Johnny and leaves, which Daniel does not see happen. Later that night, at Miyagi's house, Daniel finds him drunk and dressed in an army sergeant's uniform. Miyagi shows Daniel a picture of his late wife, and as Daniel drink a toast with him. After a few minutes, Miyagi passes out in his bed, and Daniel covers him with a blanket. Daniel finds an army document, stating that Miyagi's wife and child had died during birth, at the Manzanar relocation camp for Japanese Americans in California. Daniel also discovers that Miyagi is a war hero, having been awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. Before leaving, Daniel bows to his teacher. More time passes, and Daniel continues to train, often alone. He also practices. Miyagi's crane kick at the beach. Miyagi also teaches Daniel how to punch, harshly reprimanding Daniel when the boy begins to goof off. Daniel's 16th birthday comes around, and he has cake and ice cream with Miyagi. He has also passed his driver's test. Miyagi gives Daniel a Japanese robe, with an embroidered bonsai tree sewn into the back. Miyagi's other present is one of the cars he had Daniel wash and wax, a yellow 1948 Ford Super Deluxe. He tells Daniel to go out and find the balance in his life, realizing that he has confidence to pursue his relationship with Ali. Daniel drives to a local hangout and finds Ali, intending to confront her about kissing Johnny. She mostly ignores him, until Ali's friend Susan explains, that Johnny had kissed her only to humiliate Daniel, and that Ali had hurt her wrist while punching Johnny for that affront. Daniel apologizes to Ali and she accepts. He takes her out for a drive in his new car. On the day of the tournament, Ali and Lucille join him. At the registration desk, the official asks what degree of belt Daniel has attained. Miyagi tells the official, that Daniel is a black belt, and slyly steals the official's belt from his bag sitting beside the desk, giving it to Ali. In the locker room, while dressing, Daniel is confronted by some of the Cobra Kais led by Dutch, and the referee sends them out. In the tourney ring, Daniel beats his first opponent. He continues to advance, much to his own surprise. In the higher rounds, Daniel faces off against some of the Cobra Kais. When Daniel defeats Tommy and Dutch, Kreese orders Bobby to use an illegal kick, to deliberately injure Daniel's knee, taking him out of the competition. Though disgusted, Bobby complies, severely injuring Daniel, and getting disqualified in the process. Daniel is taken to the locker room, where a medic tells him he won't be able to finish the competition. Daniel is devastated, but Ali, Lucille, and Miyagi, all tell him that he made his point, and further fighting isn't necessary. However, after both women have left, Daniel asks Miyagi to use acupressure to fix his knee, as he did for his shoulder during training. Though Miyagi initially reiterates Lucille's comments, that Daniel has nothing left to prove, Daniel insists he will never be able to achieve his life's balance, if he knows his tormentors have gotten the best of him. 
Miyagi agrees, and partially heals Daniel's leg. Daniel returns to the ring, moments before Johnny is about to be named the winner by default. Needing three contact points to win, both square off, and after several tense rounds, the score is tied at two each. Daniel tries a high kick which is caught by Johnny, who, under orders from Kreese, plants an elbow in Daniel's injured knee. Daniel, despite being in pain, is undeterred, and lines up for the final round. He takes up the crane technique pose, and with an approving look from Miyagi, waits for Johnny to make his move. Daniel kicks out with his leg, and connects with Johnny's chin, scoring the third point, and winning the match and title. As he's carried around on the shoulders of the other competitors, Johnny congratulates him, and hands him the championship trophy. Daniel celebrates his triumph, and sees Miyagi nearly smiling. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.